In this lecture, we are going to cover one of the important topics, which is test level. The learning objective here is to compare the different test levels from the perspective of objectives, test bases, test objects, typical defects and failures, approaches and responsibilities. Let's start with a definition. What are test levels? Test levels are groups of test activities that are organized and managed together. Now, let's try to figure out where test levels come in the larger picture. Firstly, the test process is defined. This test process will have different test levels, and the test levels will have different test activities inside them, which are organized and managed together in order to achieve the objective of testing. Now, there is one point you need to remember. For every test level, a suitable test environment is required. Let's understand this with an example. The first test level is component testing. As soon as our code is ready, we'll perform the component testing. Once that is done, the next level of testing is integration testing. Here, you'll be able to see how two components or more interact with each other. Next, you will carry out the system testing, after which you will do the acceptance testing. Let's see where is each type of testing conducted. Component and integration testing are carried out in the developer's lab setup, but for the next two, system testing and acceptance testing, you require a test environment. This can be a real or simulated environment suited to the needs of the tests. That is why we said, for every test level, a suitable test environment is required. In the upcoming lectures, for each of the test levels, we are going to cover the specific objective of that level, then we will see what are the different test bases required for that level. Here, test bases means different types of requirements. Next, we need to understand which test object shall be tested under which test level. The test object is nothing but a test item which is under test. After the test object, we have to remember the type of defect and failure found under test level. And at last, we need to know who is responsible for testing on a particular test level. Soon, we are going to get a lot of information and you have to remember it. For that, you can watch the lecture two to three times and read the content in the official PDF.